I believe that everything has already been captured by a photographic lens. The real challenge is to understand and to study what makes each photograph uh, unique. I regard myself as a searcher. I wake up every day and think about what I am going to find. Is it a Polaroid? Is it Kodachrome? Is there any other material or paper that I can use for my work? I have been searching for a long time. I don't know exactly what I am looking for, but it is the photographic image that really fascinates me in the way uh, that is information, that is something I can use. Sometimes it's a procedure, sometimes it's a chemical result of a technological procedure. My language is drawing. That's where I feel fluent and comfortable. A word, a written word, is a drawing. It is a sign. What I do is I, I start thinking about the significance, the meaning of this word, and try to uh, translate it into an image. Photographic drawings, for me, are a way of deciphering a photograph. Photographs speak. They have this non-verbal language. There is a meaning in each detail of a photograph. It is also a testimony of someone that participated, that was witness, that thought that moment was meaningful to him or to someone around him. So for me, trying uh, to draw a language, to draw uh, meanings, to draw from images, is an important uh, thing, and that is what I'm searching all the time, that I can translate what I, I cannot say in words, how to translate them in images. I am working at present in a large-scale project that it comprises aerial photographs. We bought um, around 2,500 aerial photographs, vintage black and white photographs dated in 1954-55. And they were taken in the rainforest, Colombian rainforest, such as the Amazon, and another forest that is little known, that is the, the, in Chocó, um, Western department that has no infrastructure. So these photographs are like virgin, uh, they relate to a virgin jungle, to a rainforest that has been untouched. What I'm very interested about them is that they show what the nature, what this huge uh, vegetal uh, ocean or landscape so dense uh, that uh, you cannot imagine uh, what lies beneath these trees that are depicted. Aerial photographs are uh, 30 or 40 meters high and there is um, sometimes no sunlight on the ground. So dense are these vegetation uh, unities. I, I am very interested in making these uh, aerial photographs a uh, canvas to draw the uh, native trees. And to do that, I have been developing um, a procedure that involves chemistry, that involves understanding these photographic images, the photographic particularities of each of these photographs. This has been a, a project that I started many months ago, and uh, I, I have been finding ways to intervene this um, surface without erasing everything that is on it, but only but uh, instead making it even even more uh, apparent 
to make it look in in the what is on this uh, photographic surface, what the caption is made of.